these are 10 mistakes that a lot of beginners make in entry point. New players tend to use Aegis armor in situations where it's really not necessary. Aegis armor is expensive, heavy, and a bit overkill for most missions. If you're doing deposit operative loud or something like that, then you really don't need to bring Aegis. If you challenge yourself and bring lower armors to loud missions, then it really forces you to be more careful and better take advantage of cover, which will make you a better loud player. That being said, obviously there are situations where Aegis is necessary, such as Iron Man Legend Loud, for example. It's not a good idea to be a jack of all trades. If you try to make your character good at everything, it's just going to be mediocre at everything. You're better off just having separate stealth and loud characters. This is a waste of inventory space, and there's just no reason to ever bring one instead of a medkit. The proximity mines in the kill house are useful, but they aren't part of your loadout. In stealth missions, you don't need any more than two people. Having a fourth or even a third person won't make the mission any easier and just increases the chances that someone will mess up. The exception to this is if one person is doing all the work in carrying the others, so long as the people being carried don't interfere. If someone is carrying you, then please, please don't get in the way and make them fail the mission just because you weren't patient enough to wait 5 minutes. This isn't always a bad idea, but it tends to do more harm than good. Some of the players you'll encounter in public lobbies are either outright trolls or just very immature. If you're still fairly new to the game, or if you're struggling with a mission and you genuinely want someone to help you, then a public lobby isn't the way to go. Instead, I recommend that you play with friends or find a squad through a Discord server. Otherwise, you might end up having something like this happen to you. In certain missions, such as the Scientist and the SURS, there's doors that will get the attention of NPCs when left open, filling up their suspicion meter by two bars. This can be useful for luring, but it can also mess you up if you're not careful. This is a mistake that I used to make a lot. It's very risky and depends on good RNG. It's much easier and safer to lure him into the outside or into another room by letting him reach two full bars and making him follow you to somewhere out of sight. NPCs with guns will drop their weapons when they are intimidated, knocked out, or killed. These guns will get the attention of other NPCs thus luring them to the gun's location. If you know what you're doing, then this can be used to your advantage, but otherwise, avoid leaving guns on the ground. In early June, Sitch made it so security cameras can see bodies, hostages, and items on the ground. I know that a lot of you are already aware of this, but this can be hard to get used to, and this update was never formally announced, so please keep this in mind the next time you do a stealth mission.
Cameras will detect you much faster if they can see your face. Let's say you're walking toward a camera. If you face the camera directly, then it's going to detect you very quickly. However, if you face the opposite direction, then you will hardly be detected at all, granted that you have the disguise status. NPCs will also detect you faster if you face them directly, but not to the same extent as cameras. If you have any more questions or doubts, or if you just want a place to hang out, then make sure to join my Discord server. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.